This morning I read Letter to America. Letter to America. A letter to America. A letter to America. Letter to America. Go read a letter to America. Letter to America. In a twist that caught many by surprise, Osama bin Laden has made an unexpected return to the forefront of public discourse. But what's even more astonishing is that this resurgence wasn't orchestrated by individuals from the Arab world, but by American activists on the social media giant, TikTok. Bin Laden's reappearance is rooted in two letters he wrote over two decades ago. The first, penned in 2002, addressed American writers questioning Muslim animosity towards the U.S. The second, in 2009, criticized the ongoing war in Afghanistan during Barack Obama's presidency. Fast forward to today, and these forgotten letters found new life on TikTok. American activists, spurred by the Israeli aggression against Gaza, uncovered Bin Laden's words once dismissed, and urged users to revisit them. Activists expressed a sense of existential crisis, urging others to share in this feeling. This revival, it seems, is deeply connected to the atrocities in Gaza, particularly those against women and children. The Gaza genocide acted as a catalyst, leaving a lasting mark on the collective conscience of the American people, especially among socially active youth who witnessed the documented atrocities. This has shaken the certainties of the past, notably the unquestioned U.S. support for Israel. But this resurgence is not isolated. It's intertwined with heightened tensions within American society. Accusations of corruption, allegations of financial influence from groups like AIPAC, and discussions on the role of arms manufacturers have fueled discontent. The reappearance of bin Laden's message cannot be divorced from the broader discontent, leading activists to revisit the causes of the 9-11 attacks and question the motives behind wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. I want the hell that is raining down on Gaza to stop. As we witness this unexpected resurgence, we can't ignore its potential global consequences. How will this impact U.S. foreign policy, international relations, and the perception of America on the world stage? In conclusion, the unexpected return of Osama bin Laden's message among American youth is a symptom of a profound shift in collective consciousness. Fueled by the Gaza conflict and internal tensions, it challenges established narratives and calls for a re-examination of the nation's role in global conflicts. Mm -hmm.